Welcome back to another Popcorn Confessional Easter Egg video. And it is fitting because our first one that we ever did was on Scream 5 and now Scream 6. The trailer is dropped and my god there is 40 Easter Eggs in there. <laughs> Holy cow. And that's having not seen the movie yet. <laughs> yes. So we're going to cover 39 of them. So be sure to tune in tomorrow or later this week to see the 40th one because that is tied to a theory. So I don't want to spoil it in this video, but I do want to kind of dedicate some time just to talk about that one. So without further ado, let's dive into some Easter eggs. After Sam and Tara run into the bodega, we see a theme continued from the previous film. A picture of a dog and cat with no explanation on the wall, just like we saw throughout Dewey's house. We are not counting this next one, but I saw in some circles that Scream upping the violence could be connected to Terrifier. Tara is wearing a black and white striped shirt, like Sienna in Terrifier 2. Another image we are not counting is the magazine on the rack that says, Caught in the Act. Those magazines look like they are prop magazines because I was trying to see, hey, is it Us Weekly? Is it In Touch? Is it Life? And I could not place the title behind the image whatsoever. So now what we're going to do is fast forward ahead where we enter the shrine. Detective Williams passes by Deputy Haas's bloody uniform shirt and Olivia's bloody shirt from Scream 4. We then see a mask from Sydney's college play in Scream 2. Inside the shrine, we see a framed drawing of Kirby and Ghostface inside the cabinet on the left hand side of the entrance. Behind that is the sun prop from Sydney's play that Derek was killed on, along with another mask from the play hanging on it. We then see Jill's plaid shirt on a mannequin. In the second display case on the left hand side, we see a slate from the stab films along with a film reel. To the right of that, we see Mrs. Loomis' suit with what looks like to be her gun just below it in one of the display cases. We see Billy's bloody shirt on a mannequin next to Mrs. Loomis, followed by one dressed with Stu's smoking jacket. Just behind Stu's mannequin is his TV. Now we're gonna move over to the right side of the room. We have a mannequin taped down in a chair wearing Casey Becker's boyfriend's Stephen Orth's varsity jacket. To the far, far right against the wall is a display case dedicated to stab one, which we will count the poster, storyboard, knife, and mask as one. Interesting thing, as we mentioned, there is the drawing of Kirby. There's another drawing a little bit lower in that case. And throughout that room, there seems to be drawings almost as if somebody has been storyboarding each of the Scream Massacres. Not Stab, but the Scream Massacres itself, aka Roman style. In front of the Stab case is a flagpole with a Woodsboro High flag on it, a throwback to Principal Himbree's death. No. Listen up. They found Principal Himbree dead. He was gutted and hung from the goalpost on the football field. Next to Stephen Orff's mannequin, we see Mickey's camera in one of the glass cases. Just behind that display, we have Tatum's outfit on another mannequin. And then in a display case behind Tatum's outfit is Gail's books, Hollywood Horror, and possibly the Woodsboro murders or wrongfully accused. Also in that case, as I mentioned, there is some more drawings of what appears to be Dewey and Sid from Scream 1. The one mannequin has on Kenny the cameraman's jacket along with his hat backwards. The other mannequin next to Kenny can't really decipher who that's supposed to be. So if you know or figured it out, drop it in the comments. We then have the nine ghost face robes on the stage, one for each killer. As Sam approaches the robes, we see her with one of the knives covered in blood. Not an Easter egg, but only Billy's robe is encased in glass. As we switch to Gail's place, we see a picture of her and Dewey next to her phone. 
the same one we saw on Dewey's phone in the last film. Now we're going to jump ahead to the core group of friends in the trailer who are looking to escape from Ghostface, who is apparently outside their apartment building, and that's when we hear Mindy say, run. We see Mindy crossing over a ladder between two buildings. We saw this in the movie Nerve, which coincidentally starred Emma Roberts, AKA Jill in Scream 4. Now we're going to switch over to some character reveals and the most important one being Tony, who plays Gabe. His shirt in Italian says, Moshe di Valuto Grigio, which is Italian for four flies on gray velvet. This is a movie about a person who accidentally kills a man and is then tormented by someone who witnessed the event. This was the original plot for Scream 5, the sequel to Scream 4 with Kirby. Behind him is a poster of Vertigo, something that we saw in Chad and Mindy's home theater, so we're going to count those two separate. Then there's another poster on the wall that we can't quite make out, but maybe you poster sleuths can figure it out because you solved all the posters that were hanging up in the Terrifier 2 movie. The scene flashes where we see Chad punch Ghostface in front of a Stab 2 and a Stab 3 poster. Now on to the train. Surrounding Tara, David, Chad, and Sam are The Nun, The Babadook, and Andy Warhol. Yeah. I was like, what? well, that's interesting. Maybe I, I have I, I have nothing. <laughs> I have nothing. <laughs> In front of them, we have the bride from Radio Silence's Ready or Not, Jason Voorhees, Pinhead, Danny from Midsummer, and Freddy Krueger. Now, when we cut to credits, we hear a little bit of a Homage to Friday the 13th. Jason takes Manhattan. Of course, we have Ghostface that takes Manhattan. Hopefully, it's better when Ghostface takes Manhattan. Yeah, no sewage. <laughs> killing people. No heads getting knocked off of bodies. And it wasn't really takes Manhattan. They spent a lot of time on the boat, really. Yeah. They could have did more in Manhattan. What is that, the Hudson? I don't know how Crystal Lake would get down the Hudson to Manhattan, well, but... Uh, but I'm saying, isn't that, that's the river they were on, right? Mm -hmm. in, yeah, so... Yeah. Jason takes the Hudson. <laughs> yeah, that's really what it was. And then he d finishes up his business in Manhattan in yeah. like the last 20 minutes. Yeah. Now, did we miss any Easter eggs? Let us know by dropping those in the comments. There's going to be a lot, I guess, with Scream 6 coming out. So, you know, we saw Scream 5 eight times in the theaters. I expect to see Scream 6 about the same. That actually just popped up in my memories, I think, yesterday that said, uh, oh, we're seeing Scream 5 again because we ran out of movies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, yeah, and I, I don't know how many times we were on at that point seeing it. So we'll, we'll see. I'm sure we'll see this many times as well. Yeah, unless it's absolutely horrible, which yeah. I don't think so. And uh, yeah, that, that's what it is. Now, don't forget, it is the quest for 5,000 subscribers. And it is essentially the kickoff to Scream Month a little bit early. So you can help us get there by liking, subscribing, and sharing. Yes, and along that journey, every video that gets 25 comments and 25 likes, that means at 25, 50, and 75, you will win a prize. At 100 likes and 100 comments, you will win a bigger prize. So please help us get there by doing those things. And when we hit 5,000 subscribers, and if you've done those cool things, you get a chance to win this box of strawberries and scream cereal from the UK, signed by Matthew Lillard and David Arquette and possibly Rose McGowan. Mm -hmm. She is returning to the con scene, and yes. we are debating going to that con. And if we do, we will get her signature tossed on there. Yeah, but as of right now, it is definitely Matthew Loder and David Arquette because it's already signed by them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Now, as always, we don't say it enough, but thank you for watching this video. Thank, thank you. Yes. You thank said you. thank you.
And before we go, we just want to say thank you for watching this video, spending some time with us to talk about Scream and watching our other content. We appreciate you for doing that. We don't say it enough, no. but we truly, truly, truly appreciate we sharing do. this time with you. Yeah, we would not have gotten where we are without all of you. Yes. So thank you. And as we start talking about popcorn theories for Scream 6, you helped us get from where we were a year ago and some of the video quality to where we are now. While it's still evolving, we'll get there. So thank you for all the great feedback. Yes. Until the next, see, see ya. ya.